Hi friends, it's JJ and this is Travel Tuesday with Today with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we are going to the beautiful, stunning island of Aruba. North of Venezuela, the island of Aruba is famous for its stunning blonde beaches, wind sculpted desert landscapes, and some of the best wreck diving in the Caribbean. Aruba is relatively a dry island with consistently fine weather. Its location in the far south of the Caribbean puts it out of reach for most hurricanes, so sun seekers can enjoy the island's outdoor attractions and water sports at any time of the year. As I state in all of my videos, please check the entry requirements prior to flying over to Aruba. So here are the 10 amazing things to do while in Aruba. Number one on the list. It's only right to start this list off in the capital. Arendestad Aruba is a charming city and the capital and cruise port of this tiny island. The most striking feature is the Dutch colonial architecture. Pastel hued buildings with a Spanish and Caribbean twist joist along this tidy streets. And you'll find many shops, restaurants, museums, galleries, and entertainment options. Overall, the city is simply a fun place to walk around and soak up the atmosphere. For fantastic views over the city, hike to the top of the 165 meter tall volcanic rock formation, Huiberg. And if you prefer a more relaxing sightseeing experience, a great way to get a feel for the city is to hop aboard the bright red Aruba streetcar, a free open air bus that runs between the top attractions in the city. Number two on the list is the Cuckoo Canoe. The Cuckoo Canoe is a fun filled party bus with music, maracas, and a full service bar that cruises the city streets and country roads in search of a great Caribbean party. The Party on Wheels bus visits a variety of bars, clubs, and watering holes in Aruba. And it also welcomes guests from all over the world with a minimum age of 18. A variety of tours are offered, including the Cuckoo Canoe Dinner and Nightlife Tour, which features dinner and three bar stops, the Cuckoo Canoe Pub Crawl, the Cuckoo Canoe Rocks and Beach Tour, and the Cuckoo Canoe Specialty Groups Tour for special occasions. Number three on the list, Aracoc National Park. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, you'll love exploring the rugged Aracoc National Park. Covering almost 20% of the island, the park features cacti-covered landscapes, caves, sand dunes, and unique rock formations. Large boulders adorned with native paintings make up odd rock formation known as Ayo and the Kisabari boulders. Weathered by trade winds are strewn amid dry shrubs. You can walk the trails and steps ascending through the rocks for great views and photo opportunities. Erico National Park also encompasses the wave thrash shores of the island's north coast. Wave erosion curved the natural bridge at Anakuri, which collapsed in 2005, but you can still see a smaller natural bridge here. And it's a great spot for a picnic. On the picturesque waterfront, the old stone walls of the Busharibana Gold Mill Ruins are the remains of a 19th century gold smelter. Parakeets, goats, lizards, snakes, and iguanas are just some of the creatures found in the park. Since the roads can be rugged, a four-wheel drive vehicle is recommended. 
To really enjoy all of the park's top sites, a full day is recommended here. Number four on the list, the California Lighthouse and California Dunes. At the northern tip of the island, the California Lighthouse stars on many Arubian postcards and tourist brochures. It was named for the SS California, which sunk off the coast here. The surrounding area is rugged and beautiful, with sand dunes called the California Dunes. Cacti and even some grazing goats live here. Although the lighthouse is close to the public, it's a great spot to compare the calm waters of the western shore with the rough waves of the east. Sunset is a beautiful time to visit the lighthouse and enjoy the panoramic island views. You can also linger for dinner at the nearby restaurant. Number five on the list, the natural pool. The natural pool is just that, a protected swimming hole filled by waves crashing over the slick rocks. You can swim and snorkel here. Although the area is really not that big, the pool lies down a rugged road and is best reached by a four-wheel drive vehicle. You can navigate the area yourself, but the road is not well marked. The best way to visit this attraction is to go on an organized four-wheel drive tour. Number six on the list is going to blow your socks off. It's one of my favorite animals, and it is Flamingo Beach. Flamingo Beach is famous for its amazing exotic flamingos that roam the beach, and the photos and memories you take away from your day with them will last a lifetime. It's truly a magical experience having them come so close to you. You can even feed them. And these majestic creatures paint such a pretty picture reflected in the shallow waters of the island. Standing on one leg, the perfect shade of pink, the flamboyance of flamingos definitely makes this beach a special place to visit. Now some pro tips is that Flamingo Beach is a privately owned beach. I will leave the link to the hotel down in the description. You would have to contact the hotel to see if they do have availability for day passes if you're not staying at the hotel. And the cost of the tickets will also include a ferry to the island as well. Number seven on the list are the beaches in Aruba. There are so many beaches. I didn't want to leave them out but Aruba offers an abundance of dazzling beaches. The northwest coast of Aruba, from Durif Beach to Eagle Beach and Palm Beach to Malmuk, is a six-mile sweep of uninterrupted white sand and clear jade waters. Eagle Beach and Palm Beach are the top favorites. Near the California Lighthouse, Malmuk Beach, and secluded Arashi Beach are great for swimmers and snorkeling. On the windward east coast, Bachelors Beach, Boca Grande, Boca Prince, Dos Playa, Blackstone Beach, and Boca Andicuri have stronger currents and larger waves. Although they are not recommended for swimming, windsurfers and kite surfers can tackle the swells. The beaches in the southeast are less populated. Locals' favorites is Baby Beach. It's great for inexperienced swimmers with its shallow basin and calm waters. Number eight on the list, the Butterfly Farm. Children, photographers, and anyone who loves nature will enjoy the Butterfly Farm near Palm Beach. During your visit, you can walk through an enclosure with lush tropical gardens and witness these winged beauties fluttering around you. Guided tours help you identify the different species and you'll also learn about butterfly habitats and life cycles of these delicate creatures. If you arrive early enough, you may even see butterflies emerging from their chrysalis. 
This is one of the most unique things to do in Aruba and a wonderful way to capture colorful close-up photos. Best of all, your admission allows you to return as many times as you like during your stay. Number nine on the list is Aruba Aloe Factory and Museum Tour. One of the top free things to do in Aruba is take a tour at the Aruba Aloe Museum, factory and store. During this fascinating tour, you'll learn everything you ever wanted to know about aloe plants. Watch a short film about the history of aloe production in Aruba. Witness your guide fillet an aloe leaf to extract the gluttonous flesh. See the plants growing in the sandy soil and learn about the aloe's health benefits. The tour also includes a walk through the factory where you can see how the products are made and packaged. After your tour, you can purchase some aloe products in the gift shop to soothe your sunburn or take home some souvenirs. <laughs> Last but not least, Phillips Animal Garden. The nonprofit Phillips Animal Garden is a sanctuary and rehabilitation center for more than 52 species of animals. Animal lover Philip Merriweather poured his passion for exotic animals into this popular tourist attraction, which runs educational and interactive tours. Favorite residents include snakes, kangaroos, monkeys, emus, ostriches, and ocelots. But you'll also find farmyard animals such as goats, pigs, horses, and donkeys. This is a fantastic place to bring the kids. The friendly staff are happy to answer your questions and share the stories of each resident. And you can touch and feed the creatures as well. A small donation grants you entrance as well as a bag of carrots to feed the animals. All funds go towards the care of these animals. Animal lovers might also enjoy a quick visit to Donkey Sanctuary Aruba where you can pet and feed these rescued animals. Entry is also by donation. And if you want even more critter based fun, head to the Aruba Ostrich Farm for a quick tour and a chance to learn more about these flightless feathered beasts. Yay! You made it to the end of the video. If you have made it this far, go ahead and drop down the Arubian flag. Also, if I have missed anything in this video, which I know I have, please do not hesitate to comment down below. It helps more than you know. And I wanna thank everyone again for getting us to 500 subscribers. We're almost at 600. The road to 1000 is oh so close. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And you know the deal. Definitely, if you are going to Aruba, I want you to have a wonderful, magical time. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And also have a very fun and very safe trip. And until next time, bye.